welcome to Traction Control. Today we're going to be talking about a different genre of cars. The weather is nice and hot. Speaking about hot, today's car is going to be a hot hatch. Well, today we're going to be test driving the Golf R 2017 MK7.5, but first, safety. Here we go. This 2017 Golf R is the seventh generation of the Golf that was first produced in the year 1974. Oh, yes, 74. The Golf model out of the Volkswagen range is the second popular car in the world, selling millions of this car. So you can know how important this model is. To the car industry and how popular it is with the people who drive golfs. I fell in love with the previous generation, the MK5. Remember those with the five cylinder, six cylinder engines? Everybody was dying to have one and showing off that he had the V5 or the six cylinder golf. This model, the 2017, designated MK. 7.5 is the latest offering from Volkswagen. This car has a four cylinder 2.0 turbo engine. Horsepower 310. But unfortunately, we're considered one of those hot countries. So Volkswagen detuned the engine to 290. 10 more than the Golf GTI. This car comes with a four motion system, the fifth generation, where the car has four wheel drive when needed and in normal mode like cruising around like what I'm doing right now. The back axle is decoupled and the front wheel drive system is working to save fuel. This car comes with a 7-speed DSG gearbox, which is direct chip gearbox. Volkswagen's double clutch system. Shifting done instantly. You play with the pedals and shifter just goes up in a split of a second. 0 to 100 in this car. Well, it's 5 seconds. But a lot of people who tested the Golf R managed to bring the numbers down to 4.7, 4.6, or even 4.5, which is great for this car. Drive-wise, the car is smooth, nice, and it comes with dynamic chassis control, which gives you three options. You've got the Eco, you've got Normal, and you've got Race. Once the car is in Eco, the throttle response is very low, engine power is reduced, and the suspension is soft enough to give you the relaxed, nice, easy drive. Normal, the suspension is a bit stiffened, engine response is more, throttle response increases, but once you press race, the car changes instantly, and you can even hear it. Let's try it now. We're doing 
normal mood now race shifts down the sounds of the car changes as well response wow great love it and the noise in the back once the car is in race mode is absolutely great you can hear it in the back engine braking done smoothly and because this car is a four motion you can just jump out of the corners so fast in the GTI the system in the front drive distribute the power depending on the need in this car you can have up to 50% of the power shifted to the back to give you the maximize exit from any points you'd like or power in the back. The handling of the car is absolutely great. The steering response in a very sharp way and you can adjust it by going to the different modes of a drive. You can use the option of having it in race mode would stiffen up the steering you can feel every turn or you can go for normal where the steering is loose and nice other than that this car looks normal hence the term sleeper but for people who don't know the Golf R they'd be surprised with the amount of power this car can produce You might be wondering how practical is this car well very you can have five people sitting in this car three in the back two in the front you've got enough cargo space fuel economy and efficiency this car can produce 15.3 kilometers per liter of fuel and it's rated one of the best by the gcc rating system so uh, you can have fun with this car you can enjoy it it's practical you can go shopping you can have your kids in the back and the most important thing like I said this car is a sleeper it looks normal it acts normal but with a press of a button it changes going to race mode right now sound change the car is ready to engage and <laughs> acceleration of this car is crazy and of course having four motion is, is a plus as well you can take it to the track have fun enjoy it launch control is available very simple you just disengage the traction control foot on the brake foot on the throttle rev it up release and you're off 0 to 100 4.7 4.8 Plus, it's fuel efficient. And now we come to the exterior of the Golf R. Starting off with the back. You can see the revised LED lamps in the back. You've got the nice R badge and you've got the quad exhaust down. This car can come with the Acro Povich exhaust system but unfortunately this one is the normal one the other one is about seven kilograms less and it gives you a nicer sound and feel when you're driving coming to the side you can see the normal golf chassis exterior you got the 18 inch r rims coming to the side you've got the nice chromed side mirrors the r badge and you've got a nice r caliper as well in silver like I said, this car has a silver theme, not like the GTI. The GTI has red. This is more subtle, quieter, sleeper type, silver chrome lining. Coming to the front, you can see the updated LED lamps in front and the nice chrome lines going through to the light. And finally, coming to the front end where we've got more intake for the air. And you can notice that the shape of the intake 
it's a, like a grumpy man where the GTI is a bit smiley and happy so this car looks normal but underneath the hood we've got the 2.0 turbo engine that produces 290 horsepower which makes this car a pretty fast one not forgetting that this car as well is a full motion And now it's time to see the interior of the Golf R. And like you can see, it's quite different than its little sister, the GTI. There is no red lines, like the GTI has red lines all across the dashboard and the instrument panel. The Golf R comes with a nice silver and blue lining. You can see the blue lining in the instrument panel and the center console, and you've got the silver everywhere. Coming to the center console, you can see the new virtual cockpit that Volkswagen introduced in this facelifted Mark 7.5 MK 7.5 Golf R. You can have many options, very simple, touch of a button, you've got your telephone, your vehicle status, you can even have a lap timer to measure your lap, you've got your normal driving data, assist system, and views of the dashboard you can change the cluster you can have it with the consumption and range fuel you can have it on efficiency as well to see how efficient your driving is because the golf always promote blue driving which is efficiency in driving coming to the middle of the dashboard you can see the infotainment system currently it's on car setting you've got your G meter your power of turbo and the torque Go to the option as well you've got your convenience consumer where you have the consumption air conditioning level then go to the stat of the car it gives you exactly the average mileage and fuel consumption and you've got the blue trainer this is what i was talking about it gives you it calculates how blue your driving is if you want to know more you go to the think and it gives you tips on how to save fuel you've got changing up early and fill up later just wet the roll and you've got all the details inside which is a nice thing tips from Volkswagen to give you about how to drive with fuel efficiency you've got your typical radio phone voice command and of course you've got as well the application which is the new system that car manufacturers are introducing their cars you've got the android auto you've got apple carplay and of course you've got the mirror link all you need to do is just connect the usb to your phone and you're connected coming down you've got your ac controls which are normal you've got your dials temperature it's very simple straightforward inside and coming down down you've got the DSG, the direct shift gearbox. You've got your normal P, R, N, and D slash S. If you'd like to go to S mode, all you need to do is just bring it down and it will shift to S. And since you shift it down to S, you can feel the engine revving up, the throttle increases a bit. And of course, you've got as well your mood selector going to mood selector which is my favorite option in this car you've got four options you've got your eco drive you've got your normal drive you've got your race drive which i prefer all the time and you've got the individual to know more about the settings of each one you can go to individual go to change and it gives you you've got your steering option you want it normal 
or race mode which gets stiffer drive engine wise you want it normal eco or race you've got your air conditioning and you've got your engine sound you can go to comfort normal or race with race you can hear the nice popping in the back and the exhaust is more brutal than the normal setting this golf r is standard it's practical you've got all your information in front of you easy access steering wheel has everything on it it has the nice r logo and it's shaped in the racing steering wheel where you have the flat bottom in it other than that you've got your new normal sunroof controls lights and the screen in the middle so this car is a practical car it's a normal car and at the same time with a touch of a button you can engage it to racing mode which is absolutely great price wise this car matches its price so you can't see any fancy leathers all over the place normal plastic dashboard nice leather interior which is good depending on the price of the car. Here we had our review of today, the Golf R. Well, the weather is hot, it's time for me to say goodbye. See you next time on Traction Control and let me enjoy my hot action.